I'm interested in the mass of the Milky Way because we want to know how much dark matter is in the Milky Way. We want to answer fundamental questions about where we came from. You know, where, how was the Milky Way formed? How did it form stars? How did those stars come to be? Why did our particular place allow life to form? My name is Gwendolyn Eady and I'm an astrostatistician. Astrostatistics is a um, very new field in astronomy. It's a cross-disciplinary field of astrophysics and statistics. Between 85 and 90 percent of all matter in the Milky Way would be dark matter. And the dark matter actually extends way beyond the visible matter of the, of the Milky Way. So in astronomy we use these, this distance measurement called kiloparsecs and the Milky Way's disk has a radius of 15 kiloparsecs, roughly. The dark matter halo is thought to go out to about 300 kiloparsecs. So really, that, that really just goes to show how, you know, how much dark matter there is in comparison to the actual matter that we see. So the Milky Way really provides us a way to understand star formation, um, understand gas dynamics in the Milky Way, and also to really probe how much dark matter there is in the Milky Way and how that dark matter influenced the evolution of our galaxy when it formed. So galaxies will cluster into groups and larger clusters. And when we look at the motions of the galaxies in those clusters, they're also moving too fast to be held together just by the matter we see. So there must be dark matter holding it together. And when people do simulations of how the universe formed, you have to include dark matter. Um, for galaxies to even form. So in a way, dark matter is a good thing because if it weren't for dark matter, our Milky Way wouldn't have formed in the first place. But how do you measure something that you can't see? So to do that, you, um, you need to use data that you can see. And around the Milky Way, there's these objects called globular clusters, which are very compact objects of tens to hundreds of thousands of stars. And the Milky Way has about 150 globular clusters. And they orbit the Milky Way and we can measure their distances from the center of the galaxy and how fast they're going. And then if you assume some sort of model for the gravitational potential for the galaxy, then the, these globular cluster orbits can tell you how much, how much mass is creating that gravitational potential, and then that in turn tells you how much mass is in the galaxy. I think I, I get is about 0.7 times 10 to the 12 solar masses. One thing that I really want to contribute to the astronomical community is um, that statistical methods can be very useful and that interdisciplinary research is, can be incredibly fruitful. In astronomy, we have so much data that's already public and I think a lot, of it, a lot of it has not been used to its full potential. So even just bringing new methods to data that's already been analyzed and looking at it again, can, we can um, maybe discover new things.